Hi. Good morning, ma'am. I'm Mr. Salinas. How can I help you today? Well, it was just like really strange, and it's probably nothing, but I came out here. I was going to sit and read it. Oh, sit and read on my porch, uh -huh. and this man comes walking diagonally. My dog was here diagonally across my yard. Okay. He had on a clear plastic bag over his top. He had an umbrella. He had jeans on, uh -huh. and he was across the road uh -huh. at a recycling bin. Yeah. A strange encounter involving a man under the influence of peyote refers to an unusual and bizarre situation where a man was found in a state of altered consciousness due to the consumption of peyote, a hallucinogenic substance. It's right there in that bag, and it's on that shirt. Mm -hmm. And you see this joint, and that one, that one, that one's too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah, if I could just turn back for it. Do you guys have cameras? No. No. Well, that's that his picture, he's got his ID. Yeah. Is, it, is that the same? That's the same guy. Hey, sir. Sir. What are you doing? Can you put that down? What? Put that down. Paul. Yes. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to go home. Where do you live? And why are you soaking wet? What's that? Peyote is a cactus plant that contains psychoactive compounds such as mescaline, which can induce hallucinations, altered perceptions, and changes in behavior when ingested. The encounter was deemed strange because the man's behavior was erratic and unconventional. He was acting in a way that was difficult to understand, such as wearing a makeshift crown, using an aluminum trash can lid as a shield, and holding spatulas. Additionally, he had doused himself in water, claiming to have baptized himself. Where did you get all this stuff? From Mexico. You definitely get, didn't get it from Mexico. Central 789. Where'd you get this stuff from? So hey, we can return it. I'm sending for a sergeant if you're free to take it. Hey. No, this is mine. Definitely this is your stuff? Serious. Where do you live? I live in San, San Gabriel. That's in Albuquerque? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Why is your address in, on your ID here in Las Cruces? And it's pretty far from here. No, that's, is there another one? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen today, okay? You're going to be taken into what's called protective custody. We're going to take you to the hospital so that you can be evaluated, okay? You're clearly not in the right state of mind. I don't know what kind of drugs you used or how much you used, but you're definitely under the influence of something, and you clearly cannot care for yourself, okay? okay. Love down on the LPC. The man was found crouched in front of a door wearing a blue crown-like object on his head. That's when the man was discovered being held in a position where he was squatting or bending down in front of a door. For the aluminum trash can lid, the man was holding this, typically used for covering trash cans, but in this context, he was using it as a makeshift shield, which means he was holding it in a way to protect himself or as a defensive object. 52. What are you doing, man? What a dumb thing you did. No, it's... Yeah, it was good. Just stay where you're at, don't move, okay? Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving right now. Do you understand? No. Stop moving. No. You still married? Where's your wife? She's in heaven. The wife fell us? This behavior is unusual because trash can lids are not typically used as shields in everyday situations. Have a seat in the car. Have a seat in the car. freaking crotch is soaked. I guess so. He fucking kicked his leg up in between my legs. I was like, ah, man. I felt they started. Fuck.
All right, well, I wasn't expecting to do a <laughs> fucking blue team. I was saying it's a fucking event, come here. Let me see if he knows what to do now. I think this is his first blue team. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think we have to do now? Together all his property? Wouldn't know. What do we just do? Oh, first. Okay, so what do we need to do? And? Have fire with the device. Okay, and catch our breath before we key up on the radio? Get some deep breath. <laughs> everybody's going to be like, oh, you out of breath. Oh, man. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. That's awesome. Regarding the spatula, these are kitchen utensils used for flipping or turning food while cooking. Do you have to 739 South Central? Okay. Dude, that was so <laughs> weird, bro. I see him crouch down, like, holding the lid of a... Or the crowd, bro? He's curious. Dude, he's holding the lid of the trash can as a shield? I was like... Uh, dude. We're about to get into a fight with... Tucker. I know, dude. I was like... Let we're, me. we're Lord of the Rings, bro. Goddamn. Is that... Are you only does that? Do that? Yeah. I bet... That's <coughs> Just for fitting, and we don't have any spots or 55 available, but fire will be around. Everyone dying it out? I guess. I mean, all we really need is fire. Yeah, it's just come check them out. Actually, 50. Yeah, I need to stop smoking. Just for fitting, and your RP was calling back from Sun Castle, so that they had a second vehicle stolen as well. They're Hands down, weirdest encounter of my entire fucking life. Carrying spatulas in this context is pretty strange because they're not typical items to be found in someone's hand during an encounter with the police or in public. He had thrown his own belongings into a recycling bin. Fighting him, he put his fucking leg up there, he's wearing pants, soaked, bro. I was like, I felt the water go through my pants, I was like, God damn it! I'm guessing you put your knee on his, he dumped his driver license, his credit cards, his car keys, his uh, city of Las Cruces badge. He works at the city? Well, he had one. That way. And back. You're back. So he dropped it in the. Oh, you get an eye patch? Yeah. 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 Pirate. Arr. You're back. Did you drop all that stuff? Any dirt, anything like that on me? Drop everything? Yeah, he was crouched down. He's crouched down like this, bro. Holding the spatulas in this hand, and the shield in this hand with the crown on his head. And the patch, the eye patch on it. He's got a Whitney. There's cars still around here. No dirt, anything like that? No. He lives up off 70. Yeah. So you pull up and he's holding the shield? Yeah. I came down this street. I came down this street and he's right there crouched down with the with the shield ready to go. Is he on at you guys? He, no, no, he looked like he was about to attack something. He was getting ready. During their interaction with the man, the police officers determined that he was a city employee. This means he worked for the local government in some role, possibly for a city department or agency. Broken arm. Well, I'm safe from right now. Let me see all that redness. I'm just going to some pictures, okay? Yeah. Don't face that way a little bit. You better, Paul? I think so. Anything on your hands? Anything like that? Sit up, sit up forward. I need a couple they got fire coming to check you out, all right? Okay. Just don't move, okay? You feeling better? You sound a lot better. Yeah. What happened? It's been a long day. It's been a long day? Yeah. The day just started. <laughs> all right, you can Are sit you back know? now. Paul, you, you know? work for the city of Las Cruces? You can sit back. What do you do for the city of Las Cruces? As an associate transportation planner. 
You were? You are. Are. I am. Okay. All right, Paul. Like I said, fire's coming. Check you out. All right. Okay. Man, them blues are a hell of a drug. Dude, that's something wrong. Huh? That's something. I've never seen anybody like that before. Oh, drug test, is that? Or so he's just quiet. Yeah, he's just sitting there, quiet, weird as hell. We found your phone and everything. Somebody called it in and said they saw you throwing it in the trash. We found your co your phone, your ID, your car, and your car keys. The fact that he was identified as a city employee adds another layer of intrigue to the encounter as it raises questions about his behavior and the potential consequences for his job. Clubs and then you had to drag him over because he didn't want to walk. 555 already? Yeah. They didn't show up. No, they didn't show up yet. Oh, yeah. We're waiting for fire. I don't know where the hell they're coming from. Just the PC. It's just a PC right now? Yeah. Can you name it? Paul. Can I confirm your address? Just trying to figure out who we can contact as far as... He said he's, the, he's a... He's a city employee. He says he's a... Something important. Transport associate or something like that? Analysis, analysis or whatever the fuck it said? Defensive driving? Well, he's got a key card to the city, man. Nah, that's not good. He didn't say what he used? Peyote. So he got peyote from Mexico and he oh. used it yesterday. And he's been here all night? Yep. You were in Nissan too, huh? Yeah. yeah he's drenched right now, too. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's fucking drenched. He said he baptized himself. Just make sure you ask the 55 of you. It's wet as go. shit right there, so I bet you anything he did it right there. Uh, do they feel like when they check him here, do they feel like he should be transported or just he doesn't go 10 7 back there or something? Take him to the hospital. No injuries? That's all good. Good. They say how long they're going to Are they delayed or they didn't have no, there's no 50 quads or 55s available. Would you be good with us just taking them to the yeah, hospital? Yeah, they don't give us an ETA because medical reasons just keep the work full time. It's just like that pull over right away. Or let's get them, get them out of here, I guess. Just, just, just break yeah, off fire. Just make sure you note in the report why we got them out of here. Okay. Since he's already going through all this, I don't want him yeah. to and going 10 7 on us or something. They said they couldn't, they didn't have anybody available. Because the man's behavior was unusual, erratic, and potentially harmful to himself or others, the police decided to take him into protective custody. Does it again? Does something crazy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'll let the lieutenant know in the case somewhere else. Are you going to do peyote in the parking lot of your job? <laughs> yeah, for real. He's <laughs> going through it. Going to get home. <laughs> He said his wife is 10 7 now. So his wife died. Was not Peyote the one where you live like a whole other life though? Yeah, Peyote's like you're in a whole different world. Like if we would have tasted him, he wouldn't have felt the damn thing. Yeah. You did it just a little bit. So you did it last night? They're in this park. He admitted to Yeah, it wasn't a bad use of force, just like a uh, force stabilization. Okay, cool. All right, let me call the other thing. All right. I think you got it. Yeah, 5589 five, or something like that? Going to the hospital today, okay? Sorry to hear about your wife, man. With what? You told me your wife was in heaven. 
Is that true? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Check to see if it's been sorted. It's the news from last week. Alright. After that, I think we can send it. We might have to go check some pictures after that. The one on the pool, my only gets off one and two more. They detained him to ensure his safety and well-being as he appeared to be under the influence of a mind-altering substance and may have posed a risk to himself or others.